welcome everybody to my latest video. Uh, someone had asked me if it was okay to install a standard JAMA PCB into a Neo Geo cabinet. And the simple answer is yes and no. There really is no simple answer. Um, basically, in case you don't know, a properly dedicated Neo Geo cabinet, such as that one right there, those are wired differently than to uh, standard JAMA. Now, can you put a JAMA PCB into a NeoCab without any problems? Um, again, yes and no. If you have a Neo Geo cabinet that is wired to single slot, that's to a single slot Neo Geo motherboard, then you have no problem at all. Just basically take out your JAMA harness from your single slot board and install into the PCB. No problem. The reason is a dedicated Neo Geo cab that was wired to a single slot board runs the exact same wiring as standard JAMA. Now, if your Neo Geo cab has a multi-slot board, such as that one right there, that's a four slot, then no, it is not recommended that you run a PCB in the Neo Geo cab. Now the reason is, is well, it is wired differently. Now, your visuals will be the same, that's not going to be affected. Your joystick will be fine, your buttons, your start button, your coin mech, all that will be fine. One of the major problems comes into audio. Now before I proceed any further, uh, take a look at this website right here. I'll put it up in a second, and this will show the difference between JAMA wiring and Neo Geo wiring. Okay, you got that? Okay, now, one of the main issues is your sound. JAMA is wired to mono sound, whereas a Neo Geo cab is wired to stereo sound. Now, what does that mean, basically? Well, if you plug in a PCB into a Neo cab, basically one of three things are going to happen in terms of sound. Either you're not going to notice any difference at all, or you'll notice some difference in sound and it'll sound kind of crappy. The other thing is you'll, you won't notice any difference at all, but basically you'll be overpowering the sound area of your PCB board. Uh, I know that's not really technical uh, speaking right there, but as you know, I don't like to use technical terms. Now what's going to happen is if you uh, plug in the board and it pu pumps too much power into the, the audio section, you can basically ruin the audio on your board. And that's happened to me, unfortunately. So what's a, a solution? Well, let me show you right now. Okay. So instead of taking your, your harness right here and rewiring everything from standard uh, Neo Geo multi-slot to standard JAMA so that you can play your JAMA PCB board with no problems, there is a quick, simple, uh, inexpensive solution. And that is this right here. Uh, you probably can't read any of that, but this is a JAMA to MVS multi-slot cabinet adapter. And basically what this does is it goes in between your JAMA harness and your board and this little bad boy converts all the wiring from your Neo Geo JAMA harness and rewires it to standard JAMA. And it's real simple. Basically just take this slide it in your JAMA harness and then from here you just slide it in your PCB board. That's all there is to it. Flip on your Neo Geo and you're able to play a standard PCB board uh, with no problems. Uh, not only does it convert the sound from stereo to mono which is what's recommended 
but also gives some uh, some extra advantages. So I'll show you right now. Okay, here we are. We're looking on the inside of my Neo Cab, and one of the other advantages to using this is when you uh, install it between your harness and your JAMA PCB. Other things that um, it enables you to do is right here the test switch and the service switch inside your Neo Geo Cab will work for that uh, JAMA PCB. If you didn't have this and you just directly connected the PCB to the harness, these buttons would not work. So if you wanted to test, to you know, run a test or to go to the service screen, um, unless the board had dip switches, you're pretty much shit out of luck. So what this does is it also enables those buttons to be used on that JAMA PCB board. So it's a nice little incentive. Um, and see what else can I tell you about this thing also right here I don't know if you can see it but you got two um, I don't know what you want to call them uh, two areas we can connect some wiring and you can also uh, if you don't if your cabinet doesn't have those buttons you can also wire them to this and make your own buttons um, so that's about it it's a nice little uh, device, a little adapter. You can usually get these for about 15 to 25 bucks, and that includes shipping. So there you go. Just buy this adapter, and it's a cheap, effective, inexpensive way to properly run JAMA PCBs on your dedicated multi-slot Neo Geo board. Uh, it's real simple, easy to use, and I highly recommend it because, like I said, you can actually uh, damage your PCB and unfortunately it did happen to me and unfortunately it was on a game that I really liked so there you go now don't get me wrong it's not guaranteed to damage your PCBs if you just do a direct um, installation from here to the cabinet but you know come on just spend the spend the 20 bucks what you got to lose alright so until next time.